Did you know that saying no can be one of the most empowering skills you can develop? In a world that constantly demands our time and energy, mastering the art of refusal is not just a personal boundary, it's a pathway to authenticity and self-growth. If you want to reclaim your time and focus on what truly matters, you need to learn effective communication techniques and embrace the power of intentional choices. Throughout this journey, we'll explore practical strategies for navigating the complexities of modern life, from combating the fear of missing out to fostering self-compassion. So, if you're ready to transform your relationship with saying no and create space for what truly fulfills you, keep watching. This isn't just about declining requests, it's about empowering yourself to live authentically and grow into the best version of yourself. Let's dive in. Number 1. Understanding the importance of values. Imagine a moment in your life where everything felt just right. Perhaps it was a spontaneous road trip with friends, laughter echoing through the car as you sang along to your favorite songs. In those blissful moments, everything aligns, your heart feels light, and you're truly yourself. But then, life nudges you in a different direction. You find yourself sitting at your desk, staring at an email invitation to a social gathering you dread. A familiar tension builds in your stomach. Why is it so hard to say no when saying yes feels like a betrayal to your true self? Values are the guiding principles of our lives, our internal compass that steers us through life's chaos. They shape our decisions and define who we are, yet they often become overshadowed by societal expectations and pressures. Think back to a time when you compromised your values for someone else's approval or to fit into a certain mold. Maybe it was a job that didn't resonate with your passions or a relationship that didn't serve your well-being. That pang of regret can be hard to shake. This is why understanding and clarifying your values is essential. What do you stand for? What principles guide your decisions? This journey of self-discovery isn't just for philosophers or spiritual seekers, it's for everyone. From college students navigating their first jobs to seasoned professionals re-evaluating their paths. The truth is, when we lose sight of our values, we compromise our happiness and authenticity. But when we align our actions with our values, we unlock a sense of purpose and fulfillment that resonates deeply within us. Number 2. The Stoic Approach to Saying No Now, let's dive into the ancient wisdom of Stoicism, a philosophy that has stood the test of time. Imagine being able to face life's challenges with a calm and steady heart, unshaken by external pressures. The Stoics, like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, understood the importance of focusing on what we can control, our actions and responses. They believed that true freedom comes from living in alignment with our values and saying no to things that don't serve us. Consider the weight of the word no. It can feel heavy, filled with guilt and fear of disappointing others. Yet the Stoics teach us that saying no isn't a rejection of others, but an affirmation of our authentic selves. Picture Sarah, a graphic designer who receives an enticing job offer from a company whose practices clash with her ethical beliefs. The allure of financial security pulls at her, but deep down, she knows that saying yes would mean compromising her integrity. This internal struggle is something we all face at some point, and it's where the stoic approach shines. By taking a moment to reflect on her values, Sarah realizes that true peace comes from making choices aligned with her principles. This moment of clarity transforms her fear into empowerment. Saying no is not just about turning down an opportunity, it's about saying yes to her beliefs and her sense of self-worth. Embracing this perspective allows us to approach difficult decisions with courage and resolve, fostering a deeper connection to our core values. Number 3. Courage in the face of pressure. 
Now let's explore the emotion of courage in the context of saying no. Remember those moments in high school when you felt the pressure to fit in, to say yes to parties or events that didn't resonate with you? The fear of missing out was palpable. You may have found yourself in situations where the crowd's excitement pulled you along, even if it meant sacrificing your own desires. The nostalgia of those times can be bittersweet. But let's fast forward to adulthood. The stakes feel higher now. Perhaps you're a parent, juggling family commitments while trying to advance your career. You face requests from your boss that demand more time, leaving little room for your children's important milestones. The guilt of saying no can be overwhelming. Yet the Stoics remind us that courage isn't about the absence of fear, it's about taking action despite it. Imagine Alex, a parent who's asked to work late for a month on a project that takes him away from his child's soccer games. The pull of professional responsibility clashes with the desire to be present for his family. This is where the strength of the stoic approach comes into play. Alex reflects on what truly matters to him, his family, his values, and he realizes that honoring those is worth the discomfort of saying no. By making that difficult choice, he not only stands firm in his beliefs, but also models the importance of values for his children. The emotional weight of saying no transforms into a sense of liberation. This courage to prioritize what aligns with our values can lead to deeper connections and a more meaningful life, reinforcing the idea that saying no is, in fact, a powerful form of self-affirmation. Number four, effective communication techniques. Imagine standing at a crossroads, feeling the weight of a decision pressing down on you. You know you need to say no, but how can you communicate that without hurting others or facing backlash? The anxiety of disappointing someone can be paralyzing, especially in a world that often encourages us to please others above all else. Effective communication techniques can bridge that gap allowing you to assert your boundaries while maintaining respectful relationships. When you think about effective communication, it's easy to picture formal settings, board meetings, public speaking, or negotiation tables. However, the most crucial communication happens in everyday interactions, especially when it comes to saying no. Picture yourself in a conversation with a colleague who expects you to take on extra work. Instead of feeling cornered, imagine using techniques that transform this challenging situation into an opportunity for clarity and connection. Start with active listening. When someone approaches you with a request, take a moment to really hear them. Acknowledge their needs and feelings before diving into your response. This simple act shows that you value their perspective and creates a foundation for open dialogue. For instance, if your friend asks you to join a weekend trip, but you feel overwhelmed with other commitments, you might respond with, I appreciate you thinking of me for this trip. It sounds like a great time. I need to share that I'm feeling really stretched this week. This approach not only communicates your boundaries, but also fosters mutual respect. Next, focus on assertiveness. Assertiveness isn't about being aggressive, it's about expressing your needs and feelings openly and honestly. Use I statements to articulate your perspective without placing blame or creating defensiveness. For example, saying I feel overwhelmed and need to prioritize my current commitments is much more effective than you're asking too much of me. This subtle shift not only clarifies your stance, but also invites understanding from the other person. Lastly, consider offering alternatives when you say no. This technique can ease the discomfort of rejection. Instead of simply declining an invitation, suggest a different time to connect or offer to help in a different way. For instance, if a colleague asks you to take on a project, you might say, I can't take on this project right now, but I'd be happy to help brainstorm ideas next week. This way, you maintain a sense of collaboration while standing firm in your boundaries. 
Effective communication is a skill that can be cultivated, leading to healthier relationships and a greater sense of empowerment. Each time you practice these techniques, you not only strengthen your ability to say no, but also reinforce your commitment to your values and authenticity. Number five, navigating fear of missing out. As we navigate the complexities of modern life, the fear of missing out, FOMO, often lurks in the background, whispering doubts that can derail our decision-making. Think about those moments when you scroll through social media and see friends at a party, living it up without you. That sinking feeling in your stomach can be overwhelming, pulling you in different directions. But what if you could reframe that fear and turn it into a source of empowerment? FOMO is a powerful emotion that can lead us to make choices that don't align with our values. The desire to fit in, to be part of something, can push us into situations that leave us feeling unfulfilled. This is especially prevalent among young adults, but it can resonate with anyone at any age. Whether you're a college student balancing social life with academic responsibilities, or a working professional juggling career ambitions and personal commitments, FOMO can rear its head in various ways. Consider the story of Lisa, a recent college graduate. She feels the pressure to attend every social event her friends organize, fearing that if she says no, she'll miss out on vital connections or experiences. However, after a few months of feeling drained and overwhelmed, she begins to recognize a pattern her desire to fit in often overrides her need for self-care and personal time. By acknowledging this fear, Lisa realizes that she needs to reclaim her weekends for activities that truly fulfill her, like painting or hiking alone. Navigating FOMO starts with self-reflection. When faced with an invitation or opportunity, take a moment to pause and ask yourself, does this align with my values? Will it genuinely enrich my life? This internal dialogue allows you to separate societal pressure from your personal desires. It's crucial to remind yourself that every yes comes with an inherent no to something else. By consciously deciding what you truly want, you empower yourself to say no without regret. Another effective strategy is practicing gratitude for the choices you've made. Instead of focusing on what you're missing out on, celebrate what you gain by prioritizing your values. Create a gratitude journal where you jot down experiences, relationships, or activities that align with your true self. When feelings of FOMO arise, revisit your journal as a reminder of the richness that comes from living authentically. Finally, Surround yourself with like-minded individuals who support your values. When your social circle respects and understands your need to say no, the fear of missing out diminishes. Engage with people who encourage you to explore your interests and pursue opportunities that align with your passions. This shift in social dynamics not only alleviates the pressure to conform, but also fosters a sense of belonging rooted in authenticity. Number six, cultivating self-compassion. In a world that often promotes perfectionism and constant hustle, practicing self-compassion can feel like a radical act. When we navigate the complexities of saying no, it's easy to fall into the trap of self-criticism, especially when we feel we've let others down or missed an opportunity. Cultivating self-compassion is not just about forgiving ourselves, it's about understanding that we are all human, prone to mistakes and growth. Imagine a moment when you said yes to something only to realize later that it compromised your values. That sinking feeling of regret can be heavy, but self-compassion allows us to reframe that experience Instead of beating ourselves up for not asserting our boundaries, we can approach the situation with kindness. Acknowledge your feelings and remind yourself that everyone struggles with saying no at times. This shared human experience connects us and helps dissolve feelings of isolation. 
Consider the journey of Mark, a mid-level manager who often finds himself overcommitting to projects, fearing that saying no might jeopardize his career. After yet another sleepless night spent working on a task he didn't want to take on, he realizes he needs to change his approach. Through self-reflection, he learns to practice self-compassion. Instead of criticizing himself for being too accommodating, he reframes his thoughts, I'm doing my best, and it's okay to prioritize my well-being. Self-compassion involves two key components, self-kindness and mindfulness. Self-kindness means treating yourself as you would a good friend, offering support, understanding and encouragement. Mindfulness allows you to acknowledge your thoughts and feelings without judgment. When feelings of guilt or shame arise, practice mindfulness by observing those emotions without becoming consumed by them. You might say to yourself, I feel guilty for saying no, but that's a common feeling and it doesn't define my worth. Additionally, consider incorporating self-compassion exercises into your daily routine. Take a moment to write a letter to yourself expressing kindness and understanding for a situation where you struggled to assert your boundaries. This exercise not only reinforces self-compassion, but also creates a tangible reminder of your commitment to growth. Remember that cultivating self-compassion is an ongoing journey. There will be moments of doubt and challenges ahead, but with each step, you strengthen your ability to navigate the complexities of saying no with grace and resilience. Embrace your imperfections and recognize that they are part of the beautiful tapestry of your human experience. Number seven, practical strategies for saying no. When it comes to saying no, many of us experience a mix of anxiety and uncertainty. The fear of disappointing others or missing out can create internal conflict that paralyzes us. However, by equipping ourselves with practical strategies, we can navigate these challenges with confidence and clarity. Saying no doesn't have to be a daunting task with the right tools. It can become a powerful act of self-affirmation. Begin by setting clear boundaries. Knowing your limits is essential in determining when to say no. Take time to reflect on your commitments, values and energy levels. Create a personal guideline that outlines what you are willing to accept and what you are not. For example, if you know that taking on additional work will stretch you too thin, make it a point to prioritize your existing projects. This clarity will empower you to assert your boundaries without second-guessing yourself. Another effective strategy is to practice saying no in low-stakes situations. Start small by declining minor requests that don't align with your values. This can be as simple as saying no to a last-minute dinner invitation or opting out of a group activity that doesn't excite you. Each small refusal builds your confidence and reinforces your ability to prioritize your needs. You'll find that the more you practice, the easier it becomes to say no when it truly matters. Prepare your responses ahead of time. Having a few polite but firm phrases ready can help ease the discomfort of saying no. Consider phrases like, I appreciate the invitation, but I need to prioritize my current commitments, or I'm honored you thought of me, but I have to decline. This preparation gives you the confidence to communicate your boundaries clearly and respectfully. Another vital aspect of saying no is recognizing that you don't owe anyone an elaborate explanation. It's common to feel the need to justify your decision, but the truth is your boundaries are valid without extensive reasoning. By keeping your responses concise and straightforward, you reinforce the importance of your choices while minimizing the likelihood of unnecessary discussions. Lastly, consider the power of empathy. When saying no, express understanding for the other person's perspective. Acknowledge their feelings and needs while gently asserting your boundaries. For instance, if a friend asks for help with a project, you might say, I understand how important this is to you, 
but I can't commit my time right now. This approach not only conveys your respect for their needs, but also reinforces your commitment to your own values. Number eight, creating space for what matters. In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it's easy to become overwhelmed by endless to-do lists and obligations that don't align with our values. When we fail to create space for what truly matters, we risk losing touch with our passions and purpose. By learning to say no, we can reclaim our time and energy, creating room for the activities and relationships that nourish our souls. Imagine your life as a canvas filled with vibrant colors and meaningful experiences. Each commitment you make adds a stroke to that canvas, but what happens when the canvas becomes cluttered? The beauty of your life can get lost amidst the chaos. By intentionally saying no to things that don't serve you, you can curate a more authentic and fulfilling existence. Start by assessing your current commitments. Take a step back and evaluate each obligation and activity in your life. Ask yourself, does this align with my values? Does it bring me joy or fulfillment? If the answer is no, consider how you can gracefully decline or reduce your involvement. This process may feel uncomfortable at first, but it's a necessary step toward creating a life that reflects your true self. Next, establish rituals that prioritize what matters most to you. Whether it's setting aside time for self-care, pursuing a creative hobby, or nurturing relationships with loved ones, intentionally carving out moments for these activities helps reinforce their importance in your life. This practice not only brings joy, but also serves as a reminder that you are in control of your time and energy. As you create space for what matters, embrace the idea of intentional living. This concept encourages you to make conscious choices that align with your values and aspirations. For example, if family time is a priority, ensure that your calendar reflects that commitment. Block off evenings or weekends for family activities and protect that time fiercely. By doing so, you send a clear message to yourself and others that your values come first. Finally, recognize that creating space for what matters often requires letting go of old habits and mindsets. It may involve re-evaluating relationships that drain your energy or activities that no longer resonate with you. Embracing this shift can be challenging, but the reward of living authentically is worth it. By prioritizing what truly matters, you cultivate a sense of fulfillment that nourishes your spirit and aligns with your values. Number nine, the power of intentional yes. While saying no is essential for maintaining boundaries, embracing the power of an intentional yes can be equally transformative. When we learn to say no to things that don't align with our values, we create space for opportunities that resonate with our true selves. An intentional yes is not just a response, it's a declaration of alignment with our beliefs and passions. Think about the last time you said yes to something that genuinely excited you. Perhaps it was an opportunity to pursue a long-held passion, attend a workshop that ignited your curiosity, or collaborate with like-minded individuals. In those moments, your yes felt effortless, fueled by enthusiasm and alignment with your values. This is the power of intentionality. To harness this power, start by identifying the areas in your life where you want to grow or explore. Reflect on your passions, interests and aspirations. What activities make your heart sing? What relationships bring you joy? By clarifying what truly matters to you, you set the stage for saying yes to experiences that align with your authentic self. Next, approach new opportunities with curiosity and discernment. Instead of saying yes out of obligation or fear of missing out, ask yourself, does this align with my values? Will it contribute to my personal growth? This process of reflection empowers you to make choices that resonate deeply, ensuring that each yes is a step toward a more fulfilling life. 
Moreover, embrace the idea of trial and error. Not every yes will lead to an extraordinary experience, and that's okay. The journey of exploration is often marked by ups and downs. If you try something new and find it doesn't resonate, use that experience as a learning opportunity. Reflect on what you enjoyed or didn't enjoy, and let that inform your future choices. Finally, share your intentional yes with others. When you make choices that align with your values, you inspire those around you to do the same. Whether it's pursuing a new hobby, embarking on a personal project, or volunteering for a cause you care about, your enthusiasm can be contagious. This ripple effect encourages a culture of authenticity and intentionality in your relationships and community. Number 10. Embracing authenticity and personal growth. In a world that often pressures us to conform, embracing authenticity becomes a revolutionary act. It's about showing up as your true self, unafraid to express your thoughts, feelings and values. This journey toward authenticity is deeply personal, but it also intersects with the broader theme of personal growth. Reflect on your journey so far. There may have been times when you felt the need to hide parts of yourself, whether to fit in at school, to gain acceptance at work, or to avoid conflict in relationships. The quest for authenticity requires us to confront these fears head on. It's about recognizing that our uniqueness is our strength, and embracing that individuality fosters deeper connections with others. Consider the story of Jenna, a young professional who spent years trying to mold herself into what she thought her workplace expected. She wore a mask of professionalism that didn't reflect her true self, leading to burnout and dissatisfaction. When she decided to embrace authenticity, she began to share her ideas openly, express her true opinions, and seek out projects that aligned with her passions. The transformation was profound not only did she feel more fulfilled, but her colleagues responded positively to her authenticity, leading to stronger collaboration and mutual respect. Embracing authenticity also invites personal growth. As you step into your true self, you may uncover hidden talents, passions and aspirations that have long been buried under societal expectations. Take the time to explore these facets of yourself try new activities, engage in self-discovery exercises, or seek out experiences that challenge you. This journey of exploration can be both exhilarating and daunting, but it's essential for cultivating a rich and fulfilling life. Moreover, recognize that authenticity requires vulnerability. It's about being open to sharing your struggles, fears, and insecurities with others. This vulnerability creates a space for deeper connections and understanding. When you share your authentic self, you invite others to do the same, fostering a sense of community and support. Lastly, remember that embracing authenticity is a lifelong journey. There will be moments of doubt, setbacks and challenges along the way, but each step you take toward living authentically is a victory in itself. Celebrate your progress and be gentle with yourself during moments of uncertainty. By cultivating a mindset of growth and acceptance, you empower yourself to navigate the complexities of life with grace and resilience. If you've made it this far, drop a comment below with a 100. This signifies that you're among the 0.01% who truly commit to seeing things through. It takes dedication to reflect on your values and embrace the power of saying no, and you've shown that you're serious about creating a life aligned with your true self. To continue this journey of personal growth and empowerment, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Join our community of like-minded individuals who are taking intentional steps toward authenticity and fulfillment. Together we can support each other in making choices that enrich our lives. Remember, Every small action adds up to significant change. Let's embrace it together.